Okay, friends, we are going to make this second of our Banksy pictures. Now, this is the one that he's probably most famous for. It's this little girl letting go a balloon. Um, so this one's sort of hard, but I think we're going to be okay. Again, the way we're going to look at this is by drawing just shapes. So we're just going to look at the black shapes that we're drawing. Um, and that negative space is going to be what makes up our little girl. Okay, so the first thing we're going to start with is her face. So what we're going to do is draw kind of a curved line like this. Just sort of hooks down. We're going to do like kind of a general shape and color it in and then we're going to add some details to our shape. So after that we're going to come down just a little bit and make a hook and this hook is actually going to be the bottom of her chin so from that hook let's just draw a little sloping line down and then just sort of a little jagged line well it can be straight that comes down from that and then we're just going to draw a tiny line in goodness my phone has got a lot going on on it today and then from there, just a tiny little circle shape. And we're going to stop it there because this is going to be like one big shape. So let's come in kind of from the top of this circle shape and just draw a sloping line down because that's going to be her shirt. And we'll draw just a tiny line down from there. So what we're going to start with here is let's just come to start to make the back of her head. So we're going to draw kind of a sloping line up. This doesn't need to be completely perfect. And let's actually stop there so we can figure out how high we need to make it. All right, so let's come back to that first line that we made and just make like a little shark looking fin line that goes up. And then from there, we're gonna draw just kind of a organic shape that comes up and cuts really close to our shark fin, but doesn't quite touch it. And then we'll just draw a little kind of dog bone shape here and a little triangle up and two kind of lines in like that. And then one sloping line up and a tiny line that goes off of it to the left. Then we're gonna do sort of a long sloping line here and we want it to end right in line with where our chin line was, okay? So we're gonna bring it out here and then just do sort of a spindly line at the end of it. Now this spindly line is gonna stay kind of skinny like that. We're gonna come up here and do some like curving lines. This is gonna be the top of our hair. So let's actually color this top of the hair area in so we can start to see our little girl. Well, you probably can't really tell yet, but you will soon. All right, so what we're gonna do is make a little line up here so we don't get lost. This is the top of her head. And so we wanna just kind of extend and connect that line that we drew before up here to be the top of her head. Let's color in our dog bone. Leave this white space below it. And then let's kind of color in the back of her head where we have started to form this shape. So we can color these triangles that we made.
And let's actually just come all the way down to like, let's make a line right here and just color this whole entire shape in. Makes it easier if we color in the shapes as we go, because otherwise we could get confused about which parts are supposed to stay white and which parts are supposed to be black. So this coloring in as we go helps make sure that we don't accidentally color something that's supposed to be white. All right. So we've got the side of our head. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw where her eye is and then her hair is kind of flapping in the wind. So we're going to draw a shape that is the hair flapping in the wind that goes into the eye. So what we want to do is come up here to where we had this like top of hair shape. And we're going to start by drawing just a little sloping line that goes down into the right. And then we'll draw a little line in. This is going to be a piece of hair. And then we're going to come back to the top of that shape and draw a line in that has a tiny slope down. And then we're just going to do a little line up, a sloping line to the left, and just come down. And this should be sort of starting to look to us like an eye. All right. Then let's do a tiny sloping line down. All right, let's come back up to the top of our shape. We're going to do a big triangle out. And then we're going to add just another one here. All right, then let's color our shape in. All right, the next thing we're going to do is draw where her nostril would be. Let's actually come back down here to this shape. Let's do just a tiny triangle coming up from it. And from that tiny triangle at the bottom, just draw a sloping line up. It's kind of like a little triangle. And then a tiny hook, like a skinny hook that's coming off of it. And right above that skinny hook, we're going to draw this shape to be her nostril. And then right here under where the, th this line that we drew is actually her lip. Let's just do a little, a little shape that looks like that. All right. So now we're going to draw her arm. So let's just come. We have this line that's right here at the bottom of her neck. And from there, we're just going to do kind of a sloping line down. And then a line that goes sloping up like that little semicircle, little straight line. And then that's going to kind of come up here and extend into her hand. So sloping line up, line to the right. She's letting go of that balloon. So we're going to do sort of triangles here. And then just do a semicircle down into that thumb. And then a triangle. We'll come back down to the line that is near her body. And just do a line up. And then we're going to connect it. Okay. So we can color it.
And then down from this line, we'll just draw kind of like one little dot in a line here. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is the rest of her body. So let's come back up here from this little, little hook that we made. We're just gonna draw a line that kind of comes down. And then we're gonna do just another sort of semi-circle out And this is going to be making her skirt. All right. And then her feet come down here. Now what we want to do is draw this white shape that's actually her other arm. So we're going to come back up to the, the shape that we made up top. We're going to do this shape here, and that's going to be kind of her shoulder. So see, it's kind of like a tail of a snake. And then we're going to come in and draw a line that goes down like that. Just do a little hook up and a semicircle down here. Then we're going to draw another little hook. And then do a line right up next to it. And then a small diagonal line up, down, and another hook. Then we're going to come in like that. And just come up and do a line that sort of follows along this line over here. And then a diagonal to the right. A sloping diagonal down, little line up, and then this is going to be kind of some wrinkles in her dress. I'm going to do another wrinkle in, and then the sloping line down. So this is going to be another wrinkle but going down on her dress. So come up here, like that. And then this is going to be her dress flapping in the wind, okay? So it goes out pretty far, and then the line's going to just extend down here at the bottom. And then we'll come over here to do where her legs are. So we'll just do a diagonal line there and a little hook to show kind of the top of her foot. And then we're going to connect it. All right, so now we've drawn like a really big shape and we're going to make one little white spot here. So let's make a little oval there to show where we don't want to color it. So let's color around that oval so we don't accidentally color it. And then we're going to color in this entire big shape that we just made. All right, so say be careful to stay in the line so we don't color anything that's supposed to stay white. So these we're going to color are the wrinkles in her dress that we talked about. Let's just color this whole shape. this shape down here. And come back up to the top. This is that shape that's going to help identify where her shoulder is.
All right, so we have our little girl and now we're gonna do her balloon. Now, I don't really want her balloon to be too far. Maybe she's still able to catch it. <laughs> I also didn't leave a lot of room. So I'm gonna draw her balloon here. Just draw a heart. And yours can be red if you want. I'm gonna do mine black just cause that's the color I've got going on here. And so let's color it, color our balloon. And then again, if it's not the perfect shape, it's okay. Since we're coloring it all in a solid color, we can correct it a little bit by just, you know, going along the outside like that to kind of tidy it up if we don't like the way it looks. And it is kind of windy in this picture. We can tell because she's got her hair flying. So what we're gonna do is draw a little circle, a little bit away from our balloon. And then turn it into sort of a triangle that follows the same shape of the edge of the balloon. And then coming down from it, do another little triangle. And then a squiggly line that's sort of going to the left. All right, because it's blowing to the right in the wind. And then right next to that, we're gonna do a larger, longer squiggle to show the entire string. Now I wanna make mine a little thicker. But you can make yours however you want. I'm gonna make this one just a little bit thicker too. All right, we have our Banksy girl with the balloon. Nailed it. Tomorrow we'll get started again with our animals and we'll be doing some Southwestern animals for our friends who have requested those. See you tomorrow.